Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. In this movie, David Oyelowo plays an LAPD detective, who gets a call from the cell phone of a teenage girl whose body he discovered shot dead in her bathtub just hours before. The victim was his niece, Ashley played by Storm Reed, and so the cop can't believe his ears when he hears her voice on the other end of the line. Except Ashley is still dead. Turns out the call is coming from four days earlier, which means he has a chance to alter the past and save her life. On paper, that sounds like a compelling premise for a supernaturally tinned crime movie. The problem is, this movie is not very good. It's no better than your average late-night TV movie. And while Oi Lowo and Reed are likable enough actors, they behave so frustratingly here, that audiences will want to grab the phones from their hands and commandeer the conversation. While the setup suggests all sorts of interesting narrative possibilities, you could give the same core idea to a dozen film school students, and you'd almost certainly get 12 better screenplays. We're stuck with this bare-bones execution, which introduces Uncle Jack as the only responsible adult in Ashley's life. From the opening scene, in which he picks her up after a movie, we gather that he gave her a cell phone, told her to call him anytime and has taken a more active role in her guardianship. What we don't yet realize is that Jack has been down this road before, and that some of the calls Ashley has been getting are from an earlier iteration of his future self. For some reason that probably has to do with the rules of time travel and butterfly effect movies, he doesn't want her to have any contact with his former self. Presumably, changing past Jack's timeline would disrupt future Jack's ability to pitch in. Although things get complicated anyway when future Jack's sleuthing gets him shot. If you save me, I'll save you, becomes the duo's mantra as they find an unusual way of communicating across the four-day gap. More engaging as a kind of ghost story puzzle than a conventional murder mystery, this movie feels as if it's aimed at teenage audiences, although they'll be the first to grow impatient with how clumsily Jack and Ashley use their mobile devices. Instead of writing license plates on napkins, can't she take photos and leave them on her phone for him to find? And wouldn't texting be more effective than calling, or does this particular wormhole not accept data? With any luck, this movie will get a reboot down the road, in which someone takes better advantage of the basic idea.